welcome back to X Amelia X and if you are new, hello to you too. My name is Amelia and we film all kinds of videos on this channel. Everything from beauty to fashion to travel and we throw some lifestyle vlogs in there as well. So if you like my face, if you enjoy this video, click the subscribe button and stick around for a while. So today I wanted to talk to you about how I cut down snacking in just two weeks with one change to my diet. Da, da, da. It sounds too good to be true, but genuinely, you won't believe it. It's so, so easy. Okay, so recently I have overhauled a few things in my lifestyle to make me feel a little bit better about me. Um, I just got into a bit of a rut, to be honest, where I was sat at my laptop working all day, not really moving much. I put my old Fitbit on and I was probably averaging about 1,000 steps a day, which is so bad. I have this body and I just wasn't using it to its full potential. Um, and I just, yeah, I wasn't really happy. I needed to move a little bit more. And I'd also got into a rut with food where we were just eating the same things over and over, getting quite lazy, um, having lots of takeaways <laughs> and not really thinking about what I was putting into my body, to be honest. Um, and while I'm a massive advocate for um, enjoying yourself around food, because I love my food, um, I think I need to consciously eat if that makes sense like I need to re I need to think a little bit more about what I was putting into my body I just wasn't thinking and just shoveling everything in so um I did what a lot of people do and just sort of went okay right I'm gonna start eating really really healthy I'm gonna do this at the gym I'm gonna do this blah 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 and lo and behold it didn't work because it was too much all at once um and I needed to form some better habits so I started to eat a little bit better. Chris and I got um, a Gusto box every week, which I have done a vlog on. So if you want to see that, I'll try and remember to leave a link down below, um, which really helped us think more about what we we're eating, try new recipes, new foods and stuff. Um, and it got us back into the habit of cooking instead of just sort of like reaching for convenience. Even though it was really convenient and they're so easy to do, you know what I mean? Like it made it made us feel like we were actually cooking um, and trying different foods out, which then sort of like spread into the rest of my diet. But the one thing I found was that I was just always hungry. Um, and I think that kind of happens when you go from eating a lot of food, especially a lot of processed rubbish food, you get a lot of cravings, you get a lot of sugar dips, um, all that jazz. And then you kind of go down to this um, more mediated way of eating and you just, you get cravings. And I was hungry all the time. Now my thing is salty foods. I love cheese, I love crisps, anything like that I could eat all day long. I'm not really like a chocolatey person. Um, but even, even having said that, even then I was still sort of like craving sugar and craving the chocolate bar every now and again. Um, but normally I'm a salty kind of person over sweet. Um, but I was just getting all these cravings and I wasn't full enough from the food that I was eating. So after talking to some of my fitnessy friends and also doing some research online, the tip that I picked up that saved me, <laughs> to be honest, it literally took two weeks of implementing this and I had got rid of all my bad habits around snacking and I'd just completely stopped snacking on crap. Um, and I was feeling full after all the food that I was eating. Um, and it's so simple and that tip is protein. Now when I say protein everyone kind of goes oh okay yeah fine because you think of protein you think of the big muscle men and women at the gym um, that are like bulking or whatever whatever they call it <laughs> um, and you can tell that I don't really know gym speak very well um, but you know you kind of think of that kind of stuff you don't really think of applying um, a higher protein diet to someone like me who's just you know who goes to the gym um, maybe sort of like three or four times a week, plays sports, walks the dog, whatever. Nothing too strenuous, <laughs> but still likes to move their body. Um, but it can be really, really beneficial. So I found that over those two weeks when I had upped my protein intake, I was just full from all the meals that I was eating. Um, and I felt really satisfied with the food that I had, so therefore I didn't want all the other stuff. So how much protein do you need? Well, the government says that you need about 0.8 grams of protein for every kilogram that you weigh. Um, so you can do the maths on that one. 
definitely not Carol Vorderman here, but there are loads of professionals out there who actually believe that that's actually a little bit too low and we should be aiming for more like 1.2 grams to two grams of protein for every kilogram that we weigh. So it depends on what you're doing. You know, the, the big muscle men and women at the gym who are looking to build muscle, to um, bulk up, get bigger, get stronger, they're probably gonna be aiming for more like the two grams a day. Um, but I kind of go for about one and a half grams and it really made a difference. Now it can be difficult to get protein in your diet just through the normal food that you eat. I actually wrote a blog post on this um, and I got some help from a person who likes fitness and is into all this stuff and is actually trained um, to help me kind of like work it all out. So if you want to read more and you want to get more inspiration um, for what you can add to your normal diet, then I'll leave a link down below to that blog post. Definitely worth a read. Um, but it's things like like uh, chicken, uh, meat, eggs, and if you're vegetarian, vegan, uh, legumes <laughs> and nuts as well can be really, really good to help you get the protein in. But if you are struggling to get your daily intake of protein in your normal diet, you can use supplements, which is where protein shakes come into it. Now, again, a lot of people think protein shakes are the big muscle men and women at the gym, um, but they can actually be used for people like us who just want to increase their protein intake. Um, and also, you know, people who just work out at the gym because every time you work out at the gym and do something like a weight session or a pump class or anything like that legs bums and tums squats whatever um you're breaking your muscles and the protein helps to rebuild those muscles help you recover quicker from your workouts and also to help build muscle as well if you're eating enough so protein shakes and stuff are a really easy way to get that in your diet i have been using them for probably pff, the last three years or so now i have vegan protein um, i'm not a vegan but uh i found that normal whey sometimes really really affects me it seems to be a little bit better now over the years my body seems to have gotten used to it um but uh, i just still use my vegan protein powder because that's kind of what i've got in the house but you can have normal protein powder you can have vegan stuff um uh, but not all vegan protein powders are made the same i will just say so if, if you're not into your whey protein you want to try vegan stuff um be prepared some of them do taste awful that some of the different brands that i've had oh they're just horrible however a few years ago i found the protein works which do an amazing vegan protein um i used to have their chocolate silk version i was kind of like living off that one but recently they sent me a load of their different flavors um they've got so many like millionaire shortbread cookies and cream i had strawberries and cream this morning which was delicious um i normally make mine into kind of like a smoothie because you can just like mix them with water and you're off you're good to go but i like to add ice in mine um maybe a frozen banana some fresh fruit and stuff and make it into like a protein smoothie um, and i tend to have that most mornings for breakfast because i don't tend to eat breakfast really um because i'm just not that hungry in the mornings but this is a really good way to get some nutrients in your body and you don't have to eat loads of so but it's not just protein shakes you don't have to live off protein shakes it's fine um i also recently discovered protein pancakes Oh my god i will leave a link for these down below because they are so so good these have got like 25 grams of protein yeah 25.1 grams of protein in a serving um and about 150 calories so again it's a really low calorie breakfast but good amounts of protein in there that's going to fill you up um and if you are kind of watching the calories at the moment then they also do um zero sugar syrups which are really good i tend to have this one the maple syrup one in my protein porridge which is all also a thing there's there are so many ways to get your protein in and of course you've probably seen them around or if you watch my favorites video you've probably heard me banging on about them protein bars are also a really really good one um because they're also low in sugar too so if you are prone to snacking on chocolate bars and you want to cut down on the calories and the sugar and all the crap that's in there um switching to protein bars is a really good idea because i don't know how much these have got so these have got 15 grams of protein in this little tiny tiny square and 2.5 grams of sugar so so much less sugar than a normal chocolate bar um and that is a really good option if you're a sweet tooth for example and you want to uh, cut down on the amount of sugar that you're taking in because obviously that's not great for us either these are amazing these are called loaded legends and i have the salted caramel karma flavor oh my god <laughs> they are so nice so if you want to get into um maybe upping your protein these are a good way to ease into things. Peanut butter is also a really good one to help you up your protein and the protein works do 
a very exciting one. They're called Loaded Nuts and this is a salted caramel cookie flavour and oh my god it's so nice. It has like little chunks of chocolate chip cookie in there um, and like gooey caramel like salted caramel in there. <laughs> it's delicious. It's so so good. I, I eat it with a spoon. Sorry, but I know that's disgusting, but uh, yeah, I eat it with a spoon. It's so good. I will leave a link down below for this, for the protein pancakes, the um, protein bars and stuff and whatever. I think I've got a discount code for the protein work, so I'll dig that out and put that down below. I think it's 25% off. Um, and if you're a new customer to them, you get a free pouch of protein powder when you spend 10 pounds or more so if you were to buy like the loaded legends bar for example to ease yourself in uh, and you spend over 10 pounds you'll get a free packet of um, protein powder so you can try out the shakes see if they're for you they're not for everybody personally I like them um, but they're not for everybody I hope this has been helpful um, everybody was kind of like asking me questions because I was posting about my protein shakes like what I'm putting in them the different flavors that I'm trying and I'm always banging on about the protein bars because they are my like new favorite thing in the evening with a cup of tea and um, so I just wanted to kind of put this together in the hope that it might help you guys out but if you've got any recommendations of protein bars that I need to try I'm obsessed leave them in the comment section down below uh, and if you enjoyed this video or it's been helpful in any way give it a giant thumbs up and click subscribe if you're new but as always thank you very much for watching and I'll see you again soon